Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode. Today we are looking at our Deal Site 3. We are continuing with our series of finding good deals on gear through different websites on the internet. Now so far we have covered GearTrade.com, SierraTradingPost.com, and today we are going to a website known as TheClimb.com. Now Climb is spelled C-L-Y-M-B. So, guys, get ready, grab a cup of coffee, let's go surfing. Okay, we're now recording, so we will go to theclimb.com. And, of course, that is spelled C-L-Y-M-B.com. This site offers lots of good deals. You can really save some money when they have what you're looking for. Every day is something new, and generally it's around 11 o'clock Eastern Time in the morning, when they post their new stuff. So everything's kind of split up into categories, usually by company, but sometimes it's by category, such as Camp Essentials, which we'll take a look at now, Primus, Cookware, we'll take a look at that. Uh, let's see what else. Ooh, Fjall Raven stuff, let's take a look there. You guys know that I love Nemo, so we'll take a look at that stuff. And right now that's a pretty good start. <laughs> So we are taking a look here at the Camp Essentials first. And they got a little bit of stuff here. Got some knives. Got an Espit cook set. Yeah. Got some uh, Gerber blades and Kershaw. And a Kershaw saw. Let's see. There's an S-Bit alcohol burner. You know what? Let's go to Amazon real quick. And do a search for S-Bit alcohol stove. And just get an idea of how much money we're actually saving here. So, here's the S-Bit stove, which they have for sale. It is $17 right here. And where were we at? Down here somewhere. It's... 13 bucks right here. So you're saving a little bit of money. That's usually how this site goes. Now one thing that I have noticed over the years is that some things on this site have gone up in price. You know, I used to save lots and lots of money. I'm still saving money, but not as much. It's still a great site though, especially when they have a sale going off, going on, and if you can find a coupon. Okay, so for now, we'll go ahead and close that tab. And let's take a look at the Primus stuff. Different, different lanterns and cook sets. Um, I'm sure this is titanium of some sort. Let's see. Four point eight ounces. I'm sure that's titanium. Let's take a look. This is the Primus Tritech pot, and they're selling it for fifty four ninety eight. Let's go to Amazon and compare prices. <clears throat> it is titanium, even though um, the climb didn't say so. So let's select the one liter. 5667 and the climb version was 5498. Now see, that's kind of what I'm talking about. It used to be that you could save a lot of money on this stuff. And now it's not quite as much. I mean, you still save a couple bucks and sometimes more than that. But, you know, just how it works, I suppose. Now for some reason this did not get a very good review from this individual. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, they seem to have, a, have an issue with the installation on the handles. I don't know. That's an, that's an oddity right there. Okay. Now here with the Fjall Raven stuff, that is definitely where you're going to save some money. Now as you can see here, they're already started selling out of some things. Now when you're looking at clothing, when you put your mouse over it, you can see that it pops up with the different sizes. And if it's grayed out, that means they no longer have it. If it's in blue, they do. Now, 
I'm a big dude, as you guys know, so... But not quite big enough to fill a large or an extra large. I'm more of a small, medium type of guy. Oh, yeah. Man, I tell you what, I really, really like Fjall Raven. That's kind of a cool looking jacket. We'll take a look at that. Oh, let's see, what else can we find? Sadly, they are out of my size in most things here. Okay. Ah, here are those Barrett Pro trousers that I, I wear all the time. I bought four pairs off of this site back when they were about 50 or 60 bucks. So, yeah, I, I definitely, that was a score. That was an absolute score. So we're taking a look here at this Fjell jacket. I don't know if I said that right, but handsome jacket for your urban adventures. It's the G1000 light fabric. Protects against the wind, the rain. It can be waxed just like all their gear, which is cool. They also have it in black, but not in my size. I kind of like that yellow, to be honest with you. That's kind of cool looking. I tell you what, let's go ahead and do a little search here. Let's see how much that jacket costs on their Fjall Raven website. We'll take a look at Amazon as well. So, take a look at this. $220 on Fjall Raven's website. Here on the climb, it's $150. I mean, you're saving a ton of money right there. Let's select our small size. Amazon has it for $190. So, definitely, the climb beats that out. The climb wins. The climb rocks. Especially when it comes to Fjall Raven stuff. Absolutely awesome. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. Now, they used to have a sizing guide. So, you could basically uh, figure out what an American size would be. But, I don't really see that anymore here. They have it when women's size, the European rating, but not in guys anymore. So you might have to look that up on the internet there and find out, like, say, if a pair of pants is going to fit you. Because, like, here it says they're size 44. You would need to, you know, fit, find a conversion table that will tell you if that's a, a 30 or a 32, something like that. But I tell you what, you cannot beat Fjall Raven stuff. Just freaking awesome, top of the line. No question about it. And I freaking love those pants, too. The absolute best. All right, now we're moving over to the Nemo stuff. And let's see what they got. Ooh, I'll tell ya. Let's see. The Meta 2 person. I actually have the Meta 1 person. It's pretty awesome. Hmm... Yeah, I don't personally see anything too stellar deal-wise here, so we'll move on. Okay, already looked at the Fjall Raven stuff, already looked at the stoves and stuff like that. So we'll go back here to the homepage, and we can take a look up here at the top. Now you can see they have footwear, and you know what, let's go ahead and look at some men's boots. See what we can find here. Um, men hiking footwear, okay. And we'll take a look at the camp section and we'll take a look at tents and furniture. Just to see what they got. So, looking at the boots, let's find something really good. Okay. What do they got here? Keen makes some really good book boots. And as you can see here, some of these do have the European sizing with them. So you would have to find some sort of conversion table to explain to you what a 40 is and so on. 
here's some American sizes. That's an eight. That's pretty dang small. Um, Adidas. What else they got here? What? Now, really, I mean, they have the odd sizes because they sell out. So if they don't have your size, you're out of luck. Okay, let's just, for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and say we're a 10. I kind of like the looks of that, but I don't know anything about this boot. So let's go ahead and do a search for it and see what type of information we can find. Is this a good boot? Do people like it? Tractor Supply has it for sale. Let's see here. We'll take a look at Amazon and see what they say too. Okay, that was a size 10 that we were looking at. Okay. They don't have it in a size, that one in the black, but they do have it in the brown version, brown color. And that's $123. And wow, look at the reviews on that. Very, very high. You know, see, right there is another good example. I mean, the price for this shoe on the climb.com basically matches Amazon's price. So you're not saving a great deal of money there. People love that boot though. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, it don't really matter. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the tents and furniture section and see what they have to offer. Hmm, lots of different options here. Definitely they have some budget-friendly tents. Alps Mountaineering. Yeah, the Mystique 2.0, not too bad. Oh yeah, here's a Eureka tent. And that's only $79, so that's not bad at all. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And let's see if we can find some information about it and find it on Amazon and compare prices. So, Amazon does have it. You are saving some money here. It's $80 on the climb. It is $100 here on Amazon. It has two reviews, and they're pretty dang good. Good, but damp. Damp. See the review. Yeah. I tell you what, that's a very budget-friendly tent, and it doesn't seem too bad. Now, if I was interested in this tent, I would go looking for more information before I make my decision. But that's just me. So, one final thing that we can do is go searching for a coupon and see what we can find. So, if we can save additional money, more power to us, right? So, let's see if we can find any coupons. I tell you what. I really hate going through these coupon sites. It's it's like Pop-Up City. It's just... I can't stand that stuff. Here is 20% off of orders, $50 or more. Let's go ahead and get the code here. Holiday Hero. And let's go back to the climb. And let's pick out something. Let's go back to the camp section. Mm, let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's go to the sleeping bags. And see what we can find here. Super pads. All right. Let's say that I'm interested in this sleeping bag. Sleeping bag right here. Let's go ahead and add that to our cart. And let's enter the pro uh, promo code. Okay. So it's hundred and thirty nine dollars without the code. Let's enter that in. Uh-oh, that code no longer works. See, I mean, that's just a great example of why I hate these coupon sites. But I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to go forward into it to try to find good deals and save some money. So let's try this one. See what we can find. Here's a $10 off. I mean, something's better than nothing. But... Let's see here. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and try this anyway. Golden ticket, they say. 
So, where are we at? Okay. So, we'll enter our coupon code, 139. And it did save us 10 bucks. I personally still want to save more than that, if at all possible. So, I'll keep on looking. For the sake of this video, I'll do one more site and see what we can come up with. Uh, we got the $10 off, which we've already seen. And I don't see anything else. So guys, there you have it. That is theclimb.com. You guys have seen me and heard me mention this site numerous times throughout the year. And that's it. That's where I personally got all my Fjall Raven clothing, which I absolutely love. There's a bunch of pieces that I have that I will be bringing out and showing to you guys later on. Definitely awesome. If you're wise, you're smart, you're thrifty, you can save some money on that site. I always recommend that you, you know, anytime that you're looking at something and you're looking at the price, go online, do a search, and see if you can find it cheaper. As we saw, you know, some of the items on the climb were just about the same price as Amazon. So there you go, you know, you'll have to make that decision. Do you want to buy from the climb or from Amazon? Up to you. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for the deal series, episode three, the climb. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to let me know. Until next time, guys. Take care. Be well.